Hey, let's go to the phone and uh, bring in Brian Howell. He writes about the CU Buffs for the Boulder Daily Camera and for BuffZone.com. He was in Honolulu for the CU and Hawaii game last night. Brian, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. How are you? Great. Where are, where are you? You can't. Are be you back. back yet? No, I am uh, sitting in a hotel room in Honolulu right oh. now. You got to so. spend a few more days there. You you stretching this vacation out a little? No, just had to get work done. I'm flying home tonight, so you uh, know, at some point in the uh, lunch hour tomorrow. Brian, before we get to the controversial play at the end of the game, let let me ask you. We expected more and better out of CU, but to your eyes. Does it look like the same old stuff? And I, when I, by same old stuff, I mean a team that has some talent, that doesn't know what to do with it, that shoots itself in the foot far too often, that turns the ball over far too often. The quarterback needs to make plays at the end of a game. He doesn't get the plays made. Les, does you it look, made your point. Let Brian talk. Does it, does it look like the same old stuff to you? Yeah, I mean, in general, it does. I mean, uh, I mean, it. It looks like 2014, 2013, 12, 11, all that stuff. What was different about it was that, you know, last year this defense was one of the worst in the country, and the offense was uh, really one of the more uh, you know higher powered offenses in the country. And last night, the defense was actually pretty decent, and the offense really stunk. I've maintained that until they get a world class quarterback, they can't compete in the pack. Twelve is that unfair? No, I, I think that's fair. Um, I, the thing is with with Stefan Lufau is that you know last year he showed signs of being that guy, but then he would have those interceptions that made you question whether he was that guy. And last night um, did nothing to alleviate those questions. I mean, he had uh, just a bad interception in the first quarter and um, was off the mark on passes throughout the night. I mean, he only took one shot downfield. And badly overthrew the fastest, one of the fastest guys on the team for what could have been about a 78 yard touchdown. So he did not look very good last night, which, you know, raises some concern as they go through the rest of the season. Would you agree that CU had more talent on the field than Hawaii? Yeah, definitely. I think that, I mean, Hawaii, this Hawaii team, I think, is going to be better than what it was last year. They've got some new coordinators and. Uh, Max Wittick, the, the transfer from USC, is much better than anything they had at quarterback last year. But still, CU's got better talent than that team and should have won this game. Well, we put it off. Let's get to it. Did they get screwed at the end of the game? Uh, yes and no. I mean, uh, when you look at the play, uh, Philip Lindsay did not – I don't think he got to the first down marker. However, um, the referee set the ball down to the six-yard line, which was a first down. But when you look at the official stats, the, the official stats go down to see you getting a first down. And so, therefore, that should have been a stoppage of the clock uh, with about seven, eight seconds left. And uh, the referee was bumbling the ball, and time ran out. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, technically and officially it goes down to the first down. And so, therefore, there's got to be some questions as why the clock didn't stop. And if nothing else... One official says it wasn't a first down, one said it was. They've got to at least try to stop the clock for a second and figure that out. Well, is it Coach McIntyre's fault also that he doesn't demand a spot at that point? I mean, he doesn't demand a look. Bring the chains out. I know he's got yeah, no I more timeouts left, but can he grab somebody and say, uh, we want to see if this is a first down? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, don't, I, I was surprised that that just – happened without any kind of discussion or anything it just they let the clock run out and see you got mad and everybody ran out the field and that was it you know um i mean but ultimately it was CU's fault i mean they they burned two of their timeouts in a in a drive early in the third quarter that uh you know resulted in nothing and <laughs> there's there's way too many things that happened before that but but yeah, ultimately, I, I was surprised that it came down the way it did at the end and that there was no uh, recourse to see you could have on that last play. Uh, Brian, last thing. Uh, I hate to be Debbie Downer here, but but should we finally put to rest all of this talk coming from Boulder that this team might have been bowl-worthy this year? I mean, is there any possibility? I think so. Uh, I mean, I don't like to put too much on one game. And, yeah. I'm not making excuses, but this is a tough trip for teams to make. The two teams all the time try to come to Hawaii and don't play very well. But this was a very discouraging performance. And 
I wouldn't give up on the season yet. They still have 12 games left, but um, it, it, it didn't look good. And um, I'm, I'm one that has said all along, I think, just seemed to get to a bowl game. But I am seriously questioning that as I sit here right now. Uh, Brian, last thing, uh, Christmas is coming up. It really is. It's just a few months away. I know you've written a few books. If you had to recommend one of your books for a Christmas present, what would it be? Well, it would have to be uh, uh, 100 Things That Broncos Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die, right? Cool. I've got that one sitting on my, uh, at my bedside, believe it or not. Give us two that most people haven't done. Wow. Um, well, you know, here's one that I haven't really done. You know, I'm a car that made it, but skiing. You know, I mean, lots of, you know, it seems like uh, skiing is kind of an out of town thing these days. But uh, um, climbing the 14ers is probably one that most people haven't done. Um, oh. See, I thought you might have said riding thunder, the mascot horse would have been <laughs> down a That's snowy true. mountain. I have not <laughs> done that. Have either one of you done that? I have not done that. I, I don't go near horses. I've petted him or her or whatever it is. <laughs> hey, Brian, really appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, thanks for calling in from Hawaii. Hey. And uh, we'll read you in the Boulder Daily Camera and at buffzone.com. And I will tell you what I told McIntyre yesterday. And he obviously, he said he was going to do it, but didn't. Go get some shaved ice before you come back. That shaved ice is the best stuff in Hawaii. It is pretty good. Thanks, Brian, guys. Th thanks, Brian. Brian Howell from BuffZone.com. And all of our guests are brought to you by Papa John's, the official sponsor of the Colorado Rockies. And it's exceptionally good. It is, it's really good. The day after every Rockies win today. Rockies won yesterday. Right? Yeah, Rockies won. Cargo hit two more homers. After every Rockies win, the day after, go to PapaJohns.com, put in the... Promo code ROXWIN, R-O-X-W-I-N, and you'll get 50% off your order. PapaJohns.com, ROXWIN.